I'm watching this. Second stimulus check update. Compromise reached Sunday, December 20th by Clearview Tax. Yeah, I was thinking, um, not at the surface conscious level, but in the white matter level of the brain, the unconscious level, that's the level that processes either 80,000 or 8,000 times faster than the gray matter, the surface thinking level, your conscious level. And it finally finished processing in, in roughly three seconds. message I got my fortune cookie I put over there that said oh you're this that and the other so prove it okay <laughs> and this stimulus package thing I've got a heavily unpopular idea for the uh, bureaucrats and politicians and the corporations and the bureaucracy First, give everyone a minimum of 1000 a month. All, everyone, doesn't matter what level of income, just give everyone 1000 a month for a minimum of three years. Second, with companies, Like uh, big organizations like the Fang Group, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, etc., etc. Don't give them a single damn thing. They need to decrease their prices. They need to learn. And what I'm about to say is the psychological, emotional, and train of thought, thought supporting process they need to learn that without the people buying products and services from them they have no business they don't exist same with the bureaucrats and the politicians without the commonplace person you don't get tax revenues to go on permanent vacation with now for smaller businesses, well, you're already giving all the employees working there $1,000 a month. So give the business holistically something extra that you're going to have to calculate as per their locale, their needs, and their current level of business as well as their income versus expense yeah that's part of their locale whatever I said before I'm not gonna cognitively keep track of all this because once I've said it it's out there whether you see it or not that's your problem also if you care share the video with them right for small businesses <clears throat> you give them what they need so that they don't close down in conjunction with giving everyone across the board a thousand a month whether they're employed or not and uh unemployment thing well you're gonna have to go and well let's see <sighs> hmm
there's there's a f very well defined line that I see because I've walked close to it in the mental landscape of learning. There's a well defined line between people who are being lazy and people who are incapable of working and people in my situation who have been blacklisted. So you're going to have to give the people who have been blacklisted as well as the people who are incapable of getting a job and who have been so disheartened that they've just given up the uh, unemployment assistance. Also, here's something else that I've said before. If a thing had an established value that what is that was agreed upon by everyone, that value would never change. So, well, let's see, 150 years ago, the house price was yay so much less than it is now. So why did that value change? You need to persuade companies and businesses to start lowering their prices and stop being greedy. For example, something I've noticed in the last two years, uh, Microsoft had, uh, let's see, there was a, um, Oh, so many examples flood through my mind. It's difficult to pick one. You know what? I'll just blanket cover it. A whole genre of services that used to be you pay one time for a license for. And back in 2019, middle, late part of the year, I noticed that those were no longer pay for the license. You have it permanently. It was a monthly subscription, such as uh, video editing stuff that used to come pre-installed on laptops and desktops. Now it's a pay-by-month subscription. Things like that. That's because the rising taxes, the rising cost of living, and greed, but mostly greed, that has led to the increase of all these things. And because I'm using Microsoft as an example, and it ties so heavily into the video game industry, Torolf Yernstrom's speech of turning the player into a payer. That level of greed needs to be punished. It no longer has any amount of effect to simply slap a fine on these greedy criminals. You need to make an example of them. Why don't we bring back flogging? Get a leather whip and beat the living shit out of these greedy bitches. And then tell them, if you do it again, we'll just beat you until you die in front of everyone. Don't care how many lashes you give them. Maybe the physical or as they say in the United States military, the corporeal discipline will dissuade negative behavior that is toxifying, not detoxifying, but toxifying society holistically. Maybe if CEOs see their fellow corrupt, greedy, scumbag friends being punished in such a way, it will dissuade them from being so greedy and contributing to the rising cost of living. 
in the massive amounts of civil, political, social, economic, spiritual, emotional, and mental unrest and disease that has plagued the entirety of humanity. This also ties back to something I told an idiot back when uh, everyone was voting and Trump got into office. I said the best thing that he could do was to help reduce everyone's dependency on money. And I asked that guy, what do you have to say? I honestly want to hear it. He didn't have anything to say. But I think I've spoken enough for this video. And yes, all of these things are correlated. They all have an entanglement effect on each other. They're all linked. You can't have one piece separate and say this is all there is because, well, here I go again. You know what, fuck it, I'll keep going off on this tangent. You can't isolate one piece of thing, you can't cherry pick it and say, this is pertinent and everything else isn't, this is relevant, this is the only thing that matters. So many people do that. It is an underlying source, which is symptomatic of training people to think properly. Symptom of a symptom of a symptom type deal. But it's an underlying source to the new symptoms emerging that are contributing to the overall degradation of humanity holistically. So. The wider your knowledge base, the more sturdy your psychological and mental foundation And the greater your conscious awareness of reality. That's the symbolism of the pyramids of Egypt. That's the symbolism of the pyramid with the all-seeing eye. The symbol of the Illuminati. That's the symbolism. For building a better self. like or dislike this video at your leisure leave a comment if you like just don't be an ass don't display your arrogance your ignorance your impertinence or any such negative traits I care enough to block you because I don't need that negativity in my life I have enough as it is there's also links in the description for PayPal, Patreon, whatever. One time, here, have some fallacy credits on PayPal. Or whatever else I've got there. There's like four or five of them. And ranging from $1 up to like 20 or so dollars monthly on Patreon. And I've got some, well, what is it? Patreon started their own merch thing. Go check it out. See if you want any of it. But do, please contribute to whatever dipshittery nonsense that I want to do in a video game while I'm heavily drunk. Eh, till next time, toodle pips.